Oh, I invested in Bitcoin. A lot of red flags went off in my head right, when my barber told me, uh, told me that he's investing in Bitcoin a few weeks ago. So from what I know, he was never into investing, right? He's never uh, talking about stocks and everything. And he got into the Bitcoin investment because uh, his friends asked him to, right? Because he saw his friend making money and said, you know, why not try Bitcoin? So investing in something that you don't understand is a big red flag to me. Right? It's very risky because you don't know anything about the whole investment. You can be easily manipulated in that investment, right? People can, you know, buy you out and you lose money. Right, so besides that, uh, personally, I don't think investing in cryptocurrency, in Bitcoin, is the best idea, right? Even if you know a great deal about it. So here's what I see, right? If you really think about it, right? If you really think deep down, if you look at the history, right? The recent history in technology, the first in market, right? The first, the first product, the first type of uh, product in the technology space rarely survives. So look at Nokia, right? They are famous for their phones, I look at BlackBerry, the PDAs, right? Those who are old enough you know, in that era will know. And those who, you know, you use Friendsters, right? you know, you use Yahoo search, you will know as well, right? They are no longer around. So most of them never really help their leader status after a couple of years, right? Because they are the first in the market and a lot of other things happen. So I believe Bitcoin is the same thing. Right? There are many alternate uh, cryptocurrencies coming up, right? And they beat Bitcoin in terms of their capabilities, their offerings, their kind of features that they have. And because it is the first, right? It, there is no really any kind of track record on how it will perform uh, in the next 10 to 20 years. Right? I wouldn't want to invest in something that, you know, they, they don't have, they didn't have that kind of uh, track record. Because I use a lot of data to help me to uh, invest and trade. I look at, you know, moving averages. I look at uh, the past historical trends. I look at the ups and downs and things like that. I need to have a lot of data. So this is why I don't invest in, you know, IPOs or new stock or something like that. So if you are investing in cryptocurrency, you better have a very solid entry and exit plan. Right? You need to know exactly, you need to know exactly what to do and what's going on in that space. All the dynamics that can play a part, you know, can affect the value of Bitcoin. I am no expert at it. I'm, I know very little about Bitcoin, but I know that you know it can be really hard to gather all this information, right? which is why I don't invest in the first place. So if you want to consider all these factors, right? if you look at the whole uh, Bitcoin industry, right? I think Bitcoin has a risk to reward ratio that doesn't add up right, to other forms of investment or maybe even other cryptocurrencies. Right? It is not going to be the leader in the space in a couple of years, just like the predecessors like, you know, uh, what, uh, Yahoo and Nokia and, you know, Blackberry and things like that, right? So my take is that if you are a new investor, right, if you are starting up, uh, you want to learn investing, you want to learn trading, right? If you want to use a money, you want to create a money accumulator and put your money to work, you should be trying something that has been proven to be profitable, right, for at least the 10, uh, for the past 10 to 20 years, right? like forex, like stock swing trading, day trading, options trading. So don't bet your first pot of gold in something that has so much uncertainty, right? So maybe in the future when you know you have a lot more cash, uh, you have a lot more uh, investment, uh, dividends and things like that, right? you can play around, yes, maybe. Right? But if you are really serious about building wealth, right? go for the proven methods first. Right? Build your wealth first, then you talk about playing other stuff. But if you want to learn more, make sure you get my book, The Money Geeks Formula. Right, that's the book where I document everything up. I give you the entire structure on how you can accumulate your wealth. So it's on Amazon today. Click on the link below and you can get it immediately. And I will see you soon in the next video.